Hello, uh, and today I'm going to do a video extending our repertoire, our repertoire with jQuery. Now, in this video, what we're going to do is uh, do some Ajax, really simple Ajax, using jQuery. Now, you might be saying, what is Ajax? Well, Ajax is a technology that's used on a lot of sites these days especially so social networking sites to load new content without the need for a page refresh and this is super easy in jQuery it's like a one line of the actual um, Ajax part so it's basically loading content from another file into your page without, without needing a page refresh I wanted to show you a good example of this is Facebook. So if if we look here, I'm I'm logged into my Facebook and it says what's on your mind. If I type something and click share, watch what happens. It fades out and then and then appears down at the bottom in a nice smooth thing without needing without needing a, a page refresh. That's a good example of Ajax. And Today we're, we're just going to show you a really simple example of Ajax using jQuery um, to load another file from our server and stick it into an area on our page. Um, so if we look at our example here, I've got just a video from YouTube and a page of the par paragraph element. What we're gonna do is we're gonna load we're gonna load this video.php file using Ajax and some cool effects when when we do it. So I've got as you see I'm using Firefox here and we'll be able to look at Firebug once it's done and see that it's loaded our content so when someone clicks on this list item with a class of I believe Ajax it will go out and load that new content so let's write that what we're gonna do is go back into our index file and I've already written a comment for us so let's just uh, write the JavaScript that we need so we're going to harness the list item with a class of Ajax and on click we're going to abstract that into a function This is a also an example of when you could use callback events. I'm not going to use any in this um, tutorial, but this is a really good candidate for use of callback events that I sh showed in the last video. Um, so once someone clicks on that, we're going to um, fade out. L element so if we look there's this there's this big long paragraph on the page but we're going to fade that out to have some nice visual benefit and to um, allow us to have a bit more space so to fade out the P element, what we're going to do is grab grab the um, P 
element, and then we're gonna use what I believe is referred to in the group as a, a pseudo selector. And it, uh, you can say in relation to what it is on the page. So we're gonna say P first. There's only one paragraph element, but it's just being a bit more specific. The same as specificity in CSS. I'm going to say P first. Fade out. And I'm going to say, um, I'm going to give it a parameter of three three thousand. This is actually milliseconds, just so you can see it kind of happening. I could do a callback event here, but I, I don't know whether um, uh, it supports callback, so we're not actually going to do that. This is the core um, Ajax bit. What we need to do is select an element to load the new data into, because all, all jQuery things you need one of those dollar selectors. You, you can't just load um, content on to a page. So I've already set up this empty div with an ID of load. So that's the selector we're going to use. And we're going to load the content into that div. And um, we're just going to say ID of load. That should do it. And the function we're going to use, the jQuery function, dot load load, and all we're going to say is as a parameter, um, put the name in the file, so it's in a relative path. So all I need to write in my case is video dot php and that should do it so it should load our um, video dot php file into our thing with an idea of load uh, I could also fade it back in but I'm not going to in this case um, and that should be all we need to do if we if we just um, save that go back over to our page refresh we didn't get any errors so we're going to click that button. I bet you guys are probably all laughing at me then when you saw that in my code. Um, and right after it's um, faded out, just as a precaution, I'm going to say, say, Firebug that function is complete. So this will give us help for shooting light or we'll be able to see in five minutes um, when it's done what. So we're going to do is use this console.log jQuery function. I'm just going to say to our console 
Thank you. Complete. So we'll be able to see step by step what it's doing. And finally, once the new content's loaded, I'm gonna and um, we're gonna we might as well use the, the same comment. Oh, and um, but this time we're gonna say. Once that's loaded, I'm gonna say, um, console dot log. And then I'll just say, Content loaded and end that statement. And those those console.log things were just precautions. But now if we save it and go, go back into Firefox. And if we open Firebug so we can see those console.log functions. Firebug is an example of a console. So we're going to click on our testables awesome Ajax button. It, it's going to say that fade out is complete. It's going to get it's going to get the video.php file as it says and then it's going to perform our console.log function that said content loaded because that get has completed successfully. So we've loaded some content into our page dynamically using jQuery. So that was an introduction to Ajax. Thanks for watching.